How's it going with Torts? Like, I, I, you got to be his type of player, but it's uh, it's a lot different from the last few coaches. You've, you've been through a few, yeah. Here, through, <laughs> here, through a couple. It's been uh, it's been great under Torts, honestly. I think uh, the opportunity that I've been given personally, um, I think, has kind of elevated my play and and just to be able to play all situations. But, uh, yeah, Torch demands a lot. I think everyone knows that, but uh, I think he's very fair at the same time. Um, He lets everything be known. Everything's out there, and um, you're aware of it in the room, and um, guys are all understanding of it. So I think that's good for our group. Um, Obviously, again, not the season you want to have, but if you're watching – the games from last year, I think there's a big difference in oh, how yeah. we yes. play, and yes. uh, we block a ton of shots. Uh, maybe because we spend a little bit too much time in our zone, but guys are laying it out there, and um, I think we're up there and hits uh, in, in the league. I think guys battle for each other, and I know it's not all about that, and that's kind of the old school mentality, but it goes a long way throughout well, the year. So well, I, I 100% agree. It is a big part of it. Like I. Yeah. You have to have that, and and you know you're trending the right way. We knew it's gonna it's gonna take some time, and and he said that at the beginning. Um, but you can definitely see a difference in yeah. guys stepping up, and, and like you said, teammate. That's the that's the biggest thing you can have, right? Like a a unified team. I think know. so, yeah. And, and it's just the belief in the room. I think, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think yeah. the attitude. Right? Yeah, you it's have that, change. and um, I, I think picking up. D-Lo uh, has gone a long way for us. I mean, yeah. I think ever since Simmer kind of got traded, I think we were pushed around a little bit throughout the league. You go into Washington or something like that. But since we've, I guess, when we picked up Mac on, on waivers, I think that's when it kind of slowly started to turn. And then mm-hmm. picking up a couple more guys like that and Seals, I think just from a competitive standpoint where uh, you go into every night and you're – you're not going to get pushed around, and um, it's going to be a tough game. And I, I've had a bunch of guys actually tell me throughout games where it's like uh, they've said how how hard it is to play us and, and how, how big of a grind it is. So I think that makes you feel good. Obviously, the results aren't there, but um, you're trying to build something, and we have some young guys that are playing some good hockey right now. Yeah, yeah. I agree. And, and Riles, you were a player, obviously. You'd rather have it laid out to you. Uh, 100%. This is what it is. Whether you like it or not, it's there. Yep. And this this is the way it's going to be. And yep. I think as a player, you really do want that. 100%. Yeah. And, you're, and you know, I think Torch has done a good job, as you, you've talked about, just laying that groundwork, the foundation. You know, you guys seem to have uh, that uh, that culture, right? That attitude that the Flyer fans yeah. are used to, right? Yeah. The wins aren't there necessarily, but again, you got that strong foundation to build off, and it's only trending in the right way. Just adding a few pieces, and but I think as a fan, you know, if you see if you see the effort and you see the guys grinding and blocking shots, I think at the end of the day, it's really what they want to see, right? It's like there's a way to lose, right? And there's a way not to lose. And I think at least yeah, you guys are in these games. Absolutely. You know, the, the, again, the, the glue is there. You know, mm-hmm. the essence is there, which is nice to see. And yeah. um, it's again, trending in the right way for sure. Yeah, and we talked about this a million times, and, and no one's going to make – you didn't make any excuse as a player. You're never going to make mm-hmm. an excuse. But Coots being out. Yep. Cam, we've talked about this a million times, and everybody's, oh, it's an excuse. Well, it's about 50 to 60 goals out of your lineup. Yeah. I yeah. mean, to be honest. No, I mean, and, it, it may be more. Yeah, and and it has been tough. You you haven't seen Coots in a long time. I think he is uh, an X factor for our team where a, a guy, you go into a, a game against Edmonton or Pittsburgh, you have a guy who's playing against those top guys, yeah. a guy who's winning face-offs on your first penalty kill power play. Um, and, and you miss guys like Cam. And, and at the end of the day, we have to be better. Without them, with them, yeah. we just have right. to be better as a group. And, um, yeah, like you said, I, I think the foundation has, has started to slowly come, um, still needs some work, and, and we need to push each other to a, to a different level. I think TK's taken a huge step this yeah. year. Mm-hmm. Um, that injury kind of hurts us. But um, a guy like Owen Tippett, who you saw last game yeah, uh, against the Rangers, who's – uh, I think can be dominant in this league. So you have guys like that that you want them to push the envelope a little bit. Frosty and and Katie, who's been good all year, but um, those are guys that you're going to have to lean on um, next year, this year, 
um, just following up on on kind of getting their feet wet, and and uh, they've obviously been around, but um, it takes time. I <laughs> yeah. I'm first hand at it, but yeah. it takes time time to get uh, comfortable in the league, and I think. Uh, you, you have to be positive about the situation. Uh, Negativity is not going to do anything <laughs> for it. So I think uh, it goes a long way when you when you have those guys that want to be flyers and, and be here and, and be part of it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I know a big part <clears throat> when I was working for so long, my dad taught me, he's like, you know, you might have, the season's not going the way you want, but as a staff member, you got to be acting like you're in first place, and because mm-hmm. the, they come to you a lot, you know, like you know, you come yep. sit in my office, yep. like I can't be like this, pissed off. But you're right, you guys have, you can tell you're working your bags off, and and Riles made a great point. There's a way to lose, and there's a way not to lose, and you know, the record's not where we want. Obviously, but it's not from a lack of effort or yeah. lack of or anything like that. Like the effort is there. It's you could see it. It's night and day to me. Yeah. And I don't want to say I don't mean that saying. Well, last year you didn't try lots. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. There, there's no, a way. Absolutely. To, yeah. And I think you can tell that too. I think it's. I was out there near the end of the year last year, and it was it was painful to be a part of yeah. it. it uh, it wasn't fun, um, kind of the way it was going down. A lot of stuff happened. You, your captain gets traded, things like that. But at the same time, like I said before, everyone needs to be better, and and uh, your real character shows up in these situations where um, twenty games left and might not have gone the way you wanted it to. But uh, now it's uh, time to. Uh, play for your teammates and the guys who are there because uh, they're probably going to be there next year. We we don't have 10 UFAs waiting or, or anything yeah, right. like that. So <laughs> we have to figure this out together, and, and I think we will. We have a lot of guys that care in that room. <laughs>